Hi, it's Dr. Layla here. It's that time of the year. It's football season. Well, anyways, yes, we all love football. I played football in high school and um, I played flag football. And so some of my guy friends used to call me Elway because I could throw pretty far. It was a lot of fun. I was blessed with strong arms always and enjoyed football, enjoy football now. My kids enjoy football. It's part of the American lifestyle, playing football and having football around us. What can we do to prevent injuries? And I'm not here to discourage, I'm here to encourage and educate that when we do play football or our football players that play the traditional tackle football, it's like they're getting in a car accident day in, day out when they're getting tackled, falling, they're getting injured, they're getting misaligned, um, their joints shift out of alignment. It just happens when there's force of impact. So the thing that we need to remember is that a lot of these um, athletes that <clears throat> are being paid top dollar, they um, have you know, chiropractors, physical therapists, trainers, and they get put back in alignment, they get their muscles worked. Um, so we need to do the same thing for our kids who are playing football in high school, and they're constantly getting misaligned and injured, and they just heal incorrectly. So a spinal bone can shift out of alignment with just working out, with sitting at a desk for prolonged sitting or prolonged standing, um, falls, injuries, accidents, bad posture, flat feet, uh, so many variables, right? Um, but what's really important is that uh, we re get regular chiropractic care so that we can have um, those spinal bones put back in alignment, take the pressure off the nerves, allowing the nerves to communicate better with the organs and systems of the body. So the holes where the nerves are coming out from is a tiny, tiny, tiny hole. So when a bone displaces just a slight bit, it um, when it misaligns, it puts uh, pressure on the nerve and interferes with the nerve and how it communicates with that organ or system of the body, even that tissue, whether it's the joint or whether it's the um, soft tissue or whatever the case might be, creating dysfunction in that area. To remove nerve interference, we have to put the bones back in alignment, take the pressure off the nerve, allow the nerve to uh, function optimally. I mean, it, you don't need it just for, for football players, you need it for pretty much everyone. But most people wait till they actually have pain. By the time they actually have pain, that's called crisis care. You don't always just wait till you have pain in your tooth to go see a dentist. You see a dentist for preventative care, to make sure you have good dental hygiene, your gums are good, your teeth are good, you're not giving cav cavities or having to um, wait till you have a root canal. So chiropractic is the same, and we wanna make sure that everyone is getting aligned, putting uh, the spinal bones in alignment, take the pressure off the nerves, allowing the uh, body to function at an optimal level. So enjoy football season, take care of those kids that are playing football, and uh, they just don't know. And this is good education for the parents, for the family. Uh, but also for those of you who play football in a league, uh, tackle football, and you're getting hit, it's really important. Or rugby, or some of the more violent, you know, um, I would say violent, uh, pretty much. I mean, it is like impact force. Um, it's pretty aggressive, let's just say that. And so we wanna make sure that everybody's getting put back in alignment and uh, they're healing better so that they can have optimal function of their nervous system and organs and uh, all parts of the body. Not just for football players, but for all people. An ounce of prevention is better than a pound of cure. So uh, with, that, uh, with that said, I will catch you on the next one and bid you a happy and fun football season and safe football season.